Why is it that I always find myself a week before the car show adding a hundred different things new to the truck? I don't understand it, but I do it every single time to myself. Are you anything like that? So what we're going to have going on in today's episode is working on the dually. I've also got a couple things to do to my 64 C10, but I'm not going to get that in this video. It's just going to be primarily the dually. We're going to be taking this thing to the 2024 Southeastern Truck Nationals going to be the third year in a row for that and it's a great show first thing i want to get done and that's going to be we're going to pull this carburetor off i'm going to set the idle transfer slots in the front on the little thing i'll show you i'll get you in there and you can see it yourself but i've been working with my buddy brent and he helps me kind of figure all this magic of a carburetor out and i'm just kind of trying to do it get that set and then hopefully we can go from there So the reason I pulled this carburetor was because of these transfer slots. It's kind of hard. It's kind of hard to see maybe on camera here, but these things right here and right here, that's uh that's your transfer slots. So whenever you open your throttle, see it exposes even more and that's kind of what lets your air and everything come in. But it's hard to tell on here, but there is way too much exposed on this front and that is actually allowing the engine not to idle down enough so like once it comes down because most people including myself until i got taught differently most people adjust the idle on their carburetors right here which that's gonna in turn mess up those transfer slots like i was telling you so what we're actually going to do we're going to set those to where that's basically just a square so it's not going to have that long section right there exposed anymore and then once we get the carburetor on the truck we're going to actually set our idle with this screw right here which that's actually going to be your secondary butterflies back here so we're not going to just idle at all right here it's all going to be back here on the secondaries all right so last night we got the carburetor all bolted back on but before i fire this thing up i would really like to get the starter changed out i've got a brand new power master i have a power master on it right now that i actually had on my 64 but for some reason it's acting up it's not wanting to engage the bendix uh every single time it'll sit there for a couple seconds and then it'll shoot out and then i just don't like that that's not very reliable and it's not working properly so let's go get this other one out slap it on and then we'll try to give this thing a start well i'm not really impressed with this i just opened this thing and it kind of looks like it's been through a war zone um the starter's kind of <laughs> scratched up and uh good thing i got some extra shims laying around that's beat all to hell yeah that's unfortunate i don't really have time to wait for them to send me another one I mean, if, as long as this works, I guess it'll be fine. But, you know, you pay high dollar prices sometimes on this stuff and stuff like that happens. And that kind of grinds my gears just slightly because that's uh, annoying. You know, I pay for a brand new Powermaster, which if you've ever priced those, they're not exactly AutoZone starters. So they're a little bit more expensive. So probably going to send Old Speedway a little bit of a message. See that box has been pretty roughed up and it actually had some actual like packing tape on there that wasn't probably installed by Powermaster. So I don't understand what happened there, but anyway. So here's the one I just pulled off. It's a, like I was saying, a pretty new Powermaster Max, which I've had really good luck, which I've had this style on the dually for about a year now. And it's currently on the 64 but went on power tour and i had this one on and within like the first i don't know a couple times of starting it it started doing the little issue that i was telling you about so we're gonna go back to this big daddy here 
which I just think is a little bit more powerful anyway, so I don't know why I'm tapping on things like that so much, but anyway, slap this one in. It's hard to get you guys down there, so I'm just gonna do it because it's hard enough to get me down there, let alone get a camera and get a good angle, and it's just a bunch of grunting and all that good stuff. And it's just two bolts, so get this thing slapped on, see what we got. Alrighty, got starter installed, filled the both uh, fuel bowls up. Now this thing might not idle because we did, you know, change everything up. So like I was saying, we'll have to set that idle. And it could be the exact opposite. This thing could idle way up and we'll have to lower it. So we'll just have to play it by ear. Fingers crossed it fires up and we can go on from there. pretty close I mean obviously if it heats up a little bit we might adjust on it a little bit more but it's pretty dang close it's not island real crazy high like it used to do and uh, all that stuff you heard it first obviously it was idled up a little bit that's because the choke was closed but I just hit the throttle real quick open that thing up and I think we're good so we're cruising down the road Layla and myself, it's a couple hours later. It's 4th of July, so happy late 4th of July to you. Um, avoiding something in the middle of the road. But we're cruising, and we actually figured out the temperature gauge. So that's a pretty, I'm pretty happy about that. We're right under 210-ish right now. I can't remember exactly what the thermostat was on this. Maybe either 180 or 190. I'm not real for sure, but it's staying under 210, and if it does that, I'm fine with it. But this thing, it feels just like the whole truck feels lighter now that we've adjusted on this carburetor. It don't have that stumble, it runs so much better, so I'm pretty stoked. I'm thinking it's going to be a pretty good little upgrade on making those transfer slots where they're needing to be and just keeping this thing a little bit more dialed in so and like i'm saying like it feels like the truck's like lighter it feels like it just goes so Layla and i are going to go on a little sunset cruise here and make sure everything's okay we don't overheat that's enough jabbering let's see some driving i guess The truck stayed around 210. It's a little warmer than I would want, but I think it's gonna be absolutely fine. It's uh, she's running a little cooler than Layla is currently. It is a warm day out here, humid. But uh, I think I'm gonna go up, spend a little time with the wife. It is 4th of July, so maybe kick back on the porch, have a drink or something, and just hang out, because 
I am doing this for her, but if I don't spend any time with her, she might be a little angry at me. So I'm gonna go up there and do that. I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, it's the next day and as promised, we're out here again. Today we're gonna be working on the exhaust. It's just a really, really crude setup that I've got on it currently. But I ordered this exhaust kit. It's like a, it's supposed to be a cross member back, like kit for a 98 to 2000 or something. So and it's got like a little over axle section here. But we're just gonna try to make something work with the old crew cab here. And I've also got factory Y pipe. I'm just gonna do that for now. Maybe later on, if we put a bigger cam and different things in this thing, maybe we'll do some short manifolds on it or something. I don't know, some little headers, but I'm gonna start tearing off all that old stuff real quick because it is pretty crude. Like I was saying, this is very crude. But if you watch the Will It Run video, we had limited time, so just threw what I could together in the timely manner that I had. And now hopefully I'm gonna upgrade it slightly. I got this factory Y pipe up here. I'm gonna go ahead and opt to weld in this O2 bung because I'm gonna probably put an AFR gauge in it, just like I did in the 64, just so we could see the air fuel mixture. And it's gonna be a lot easier to do that now while it's out of the truck versus in it. So got the factory Y installed. It bolted right up, which is sweet. Then I came back here. I've got this little coupling on. It's a three to two and a half, which I did say I was gonna make this not as junky, but time is of the essence once again. So we've got, it's going a two and a half back. I'm gonna do something different with these hangers, obviously. They're just kind of for mock-up purposes. Just see what this thing sounded like, but We've got a mile long section of two and a half here. So that goes all the way back. Then you come back here and I've just got one of these little bullet style mufflers on it. Basically just put that in there just to see what that was gonna sound like. Obviously we're not fart can dumping this thing out by the research. So um, I'm gonna fire this thing up, see what it sounds like. I'm hoping it's drastically quieter, so let's see what happens. So that thing is drastically quieter and it actually has a good tone to it now. Whereas before it had like the true duels, which I'm just not a huge fan of true duels. I don't know. Some people definitely like them, but I like an H pipe or X pipe or something like that in there. If you're going to have actual duels, because it just kind of evens out the exhaust tone and it doesn't have that cackly noise. But um, yeah, this all goes merges down into one, which I know it's two and a half just a factory engine. It's really not gonna choke down that much, I don't think. Eventually, I might do a different exhaust, why not? We've already done two, so, which I wouldn't even call that first one an exhaust at all, but 
yeah enough rambling uh got a little fourth of july get up we gotta go to today it's saturday so probably come back out here this evening and get this thing buttoned up then we can start hopefully getting the window done and maybe tackle on that fuel tank really not wanting to do that one see you in a little bit Fun stuff. Only 180 degrees outside. The hay look a little hot, if you know what I mean. I guess. What kind of videos is this about to turn into? <laughs> <laughs> you better erase all this, by the way. What are we doing? Making hangers. What are you doing? Checking you out. <laughs> oh, I can need another it. jacket there. Uh -huh. You might need another jacket. Alrighty, just gotta make a couple brackets back here, and the exhaust should be pretty much done. She's pretty loud. Yeah, I'll have to put something on there. So what's the game plan with the muffler? Hmm? What's the game plan with the muffler situation? Uh, probably gonna put this one in. What'd that come off of? This truck. Oh. <laughs> Every corner. There she is. <laughs> <laughs> am, I getting, am I getting paid for this? Yes. As soon as you fire up this wall, it's going to get all, all feisty and come at me. One thing off the list? Yep. Woo! Yep. Go eat some hamburgers. Heck yeah. All right. All right, so the last thing on the list that I'm probably gonna get to in this video is gonna be window motor on the passenger side here. It's uh, getting really slow and it only goes about a three quarter of the way up. So I replaced the one on the driver's side, so now it's time 
to do the passenger. Alright, I got the old assembly out here. I'm going to start just taking this old window regulator off. These things are kind of a fight to get out of there. I ended up actually watching a YouTube video myself on how to get this out. I have done the driver's side, but I have slept since then, so it took a little bit of finagling for me to get this thing out. But like I was saying, this thing has been very slow since I bought this truck, so I'm gonna have to take these out. And then I gotta put that mount on there. about as ready as we're gonna get for southeastern truck nationals if you're up that way hit me up we're gonna have t-shirts i think stickers some air fresheners that kind of good stuff kind of help support the gas bill so thanks for hanging in here watching another one i'll see you hopefully at southeastern truck nationals come by and say hey see you have a good one